welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today, we're going to be doing our paycheck to paycheck weekly budget for me. Um, let's just hop right on in. I was supposed to do last week with you guys, but I don't know. Just I, I think I was just messing around in that yard and just lost days. But this is last week. I went ahead and did it actually, I think, Friday or Saturday. Um, for the week, we ended up making $870. We had car insurance of $211.42, which will actually be coming out this week because it's just sitting in there because of the holiday. We had GoDaddy $741, cloth and paper $38, community $30, Amazon $1589, and Blue Thread $250. Um, and over here, I have my cash envelopes listed because I was holding on to some fives and tens. And so I'll probably be doing a cash stuffing video later, um, probably tomorrow. So let's hop right on into this week. Um, I gotta look at the month, y'all, because I know we're in July. Oh, and then I went ahead. I know y'all said y'all like to see me kind of set this up, but I was kind of behind and I was like, okay, I need the overview. We're still going to do the monthly together, but I needed the monthly overview. So I went ahead and did that. So we are on pretty much the second week of July, which is the 4th through the 10th. And where's my, let me do this. Let me do the highlighting. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all what I did to um, pretty much increase my income. Because, you know, we were having some slow weeks there for a moment. Okay, so we're uh, July 4th through the 10th. And if you're new here, our main income is hair. I'm going to guesstimate, um, I don't know how my week is looking, honestly, but I'm going to guesstimate 600 And then we have nails. And to my knowledge, I won't be doing nails this week on uh, Norris Cove. I'm going to put zero. I just haven't done any advertising sales or anything like that. And maybe, you know, later I will. And then I'm going to do miscellaneous. Right now, I'm not expecting anything. So the total is $600. So let's look at the date. So we have Walmart due, which is today. And I've already kind of paid it, but um, I think that's $28. But it hasn't come out yet because of the holiday. We have credit one, and I think that's actually due today as well. And we have paid that as well. And that hasn't come out, and that's 30 and we have Canva on the 7th. And I think Canva is $13.77. And then we have Booth Rent due on Saturday the 9th. And that's $250. Now... Let me show you what I'm looking at. That's why I needed to do this overview. So this is this week right here. Sunday is the 10th. My car note is due on the 11th. Also, I have Chase due on the 11th. So what I used to do and what I like to do when money is there, I like to kind of go ahead and start funding next week. So... I'm not writing, I'm not going to write that down, but I would need some money left over this week to kind of help with my car note. And actually, yeah, like sometimes they take the car note on the, no, it should be fine. So it'll probably come out like midnight here. So I still need my car note on this week, if that makes sense. So I'm going to just make a note of it. And Chase, I can pay that day of. So let's move this out the way and let's do some calculating. So we have $321.77. I don't know what's wrong with this one. Where is my toe? I guess I don't have one. So we have $321.77. So let's subtract that from $600. 
that leaves us with 278.23. I'm just going to put 278. So here I'll make the note that um, car note 2. And I'm just going to put 181.60 on Monday. And so I want to do some cash envelopes this week, but I'm not sure. But I'm going to just put down grocery. And I'm just doing 10 because my groceries are pretty okay right now. And week ahead, week because I will be gone on July 25th, um, like almost to the first, because I'll be helping my niece with her baby because she has to go back to work. So I'm taking a week off to help her. And so I would like to have, I don't really, they want to pay me. I don't want to um, take from them because they're, you know, new parents. So I want to have my bills paid. So I'm going to put another $10 there. So that'll be 20 so I'm not going to even do any subtracting, but I know I'd have the money left. So if we took the 278, let's just see. This is just how my mind thinks, and I like to kind of take y'all along the ride. But um, we were left with 278 from the 600 after paying bills. So 278. So if I took the 181, that would leave me with $96.40. I should be able to use that 20 towards grocery and a week ahead and they'll leave them with $76.40. So I'm just going to put 76 here. And that still leaves me, um, like I said, just a little play money, miscellaneous money that, you know, just goes snacks or whatever. So let's pop this back in. But yeah, so this week is kind of that week when it's really not a lot to do, but I have to be, again, um, mindful of what's coming next week. So to me, when I was doing this, this worked, but again, I hadn't been doing my budget, so I was just scrambling. So I definitely had to come back and do a budget with you guys because I've got to keep ahead of my bills. So that's it for this week. We've done the review of last week and the next video either be cash stuffing or I know I need to get into my monthly budget. I haven't done that besides the overview. Um, and I still really have not finished this because I like to know what is auto drafted and I have several accounts that things come out of. So I need to make notes of that. So when I have some time, I'll do that and maybe I'll do that uh, with you guys as well. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and um, leave me a message in the comment section letting me know have you done your weekly budget and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.